So let's examine the following example that deals with an LC electric circuit. Suppose a capacitor is fully charged to a voltage of 240 volts and then quickly connected into an electric circuit that contains an inductor. Now if the capacitance of our capacitor is 2000 picofarads, if there is no resistance inside our LC circuit and if the frequency is given to be 9000 hertz, in part A find the inductance L, in part B find the maximum electric current in the inductor, and in part C find the maximum energy stored inside our inductor. So let's begin with part A. To find the inductance of the inductor, we have to use these two equations. So recall that the angular velocity omega is equal to 1 divided by the square root of L multiplied by C, where C is our capacitance and L is our inductance that we're looking for. Now we also know that by definition of angular frequency, angular frequency also known as angular velocity is equal to 2 pi multiplied by the frequency. So we can equate this equation to this equation and we get the following result. So 2 pi multiplied by the frequency is equal to 1 divided by the square root of L multiplied by C. Now if we take the square of both sides and then we solve for our L, we see that our inductance L is equal to 1 divided by the square of 2 pi times the frequency multiplied by our capacitance. Now, we know the capacitance is 2000 picofarads, and we know that our frequency is 9000 hertz. So we can plug these values into this equation. Now we have to convert our picofarads into farads. So our capacitance is 2000 times 10 to negative 12 farads. We multiply that by the square of the product of 2 pi and 9000, and we get about 0.16 is our inductance of our inductor. So 0.16 Henry's. Now let's move on to part B. Now we want to calculate the maximum current in our inductor. So we have to use the following equation. So this equation gives us the quantity of electric current inside our inductor with respect to time. So I is equal to omega multiplied by Q naught multiplied by sine of omega times T plus our phase angle phi. Now our electric current is at a maximum when the sign of this quantity is equal to 1. So I maximum is equal to omega multiplied by Q naught. Now Q naught is our initial quantity of electric charge stored on our capacitor at time of 0 seconds. And Q naught is equal to the product of C multiplied by V naught. Now we know from part A that omega is equal to 1 divided by the square root of L times C. So we replace omega with this ratio and we replace Q naught with C multiplied by V naught where C is the capacitance and V naught is our initial voltage of 240. So we plug in 240 volts into V naught, we plug in this into C and this C as well and for our inductance we simply use our quantity calculated in part A and we get an electric current of about 0.027 amps. And finally let's move on to part C, find the maximum energy stored in our inductor. So to find the maximum quantity of energy stored in our inductor, we use this equation. So the maximum energy in the inductor is equal to Q naught squared divided by 2 multiplied by C. Now Q naught is equal to C multiplied by V naught, so we square this and we divide by 2 multiplied by C. One of the C's will cancel and the maximum U is equal to C V naught squared divided by 2. 
So we take our voltage of 240 volts, we square that, we multiply that by our capacitance and we divide by 2 and we get about 5.8 times 10 to negative 5 joules of energy is the maximum quantity of energy stored inside the magnetic field of our inductor.